Hello, Libra. It's time for your January to the beginning of February reading. Look what I got. It is the Starman Tarot deck um, by David de Angelis. I'm not sure I'm American, so that makes me really ignorant with pronunciations. Sorry, I was having a dry throat. I didn't want to cough. Inspired by the artworks he created for David Bowie. He actually worked on two albums. I think one of them was Oracle, and I don't remember what the other one was, and I don't want to go ahead and open it, because, like, that takes a lot of freaking work. <laughs> so, like, I'm just going to do a reading for you guys with this. For the rest of the month. It's going to be a single one, not a Thunderdome, or a double reading. Or whatever you want to call it, so no worries. I was enjoying my vacation quite a bit, and I missed you guys. Well, not really you guys in general. I missed everybody, but you know what I mean. Okay. No whammies. Let's see what these cards say about you. We have five of wands. God, that is a lot of bullshit. Five of swords. Wow. Okay. Eight of Cups. The Starman or the Magician in this deck. It's called the Starman. Prince of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. That's pretty cool. A lot of financial endeavors. Oh, you too have the Princess of Swords reversed, just like Virgo did earlier. Very interesting. Um, that might be you, Libra, or it could be a Gemini or an Aquarius who's being very paranoid, very much a little snoop for all the wrong reasons, right? Could be the, anybody else who's watching this here. It doesn't have to be Libra doing this. It could be someone you're dealing with. Just keep that in mind. But there might be somebody being sneaky in nature who's keeping an eye out, even though they shouldn't. Like, it's going against them. Like, look at all this stuff that's going on around them. They can see people in white instead of seeing people. Like, paranoia to a core. Like, thinking that you're seeing something shimmer behind you. There's something coming out of this thing that is just nothing but glass and it's just reflecting the light, right? Lots and lots of communications in secret, I feel like, too. Like, not a lack of communication, but no direct talking. Okay, so we got the five of wands, right? Which is like, fives are all about the heart of conflict, so people are actually fighting for sh well, well, yeah, in this case, it's almost like a fight to display something. A fight for... Action. Like, definitely heated discourse, right? But it's like... You're all coming against each other. Only two are against three. It's like all these people coming against these two people right here. But they're not doing anything to de-escalate the situation either. Like, there's a lot of passion in this. There's a lot of my cards not wanting to be straight when I touch them ever so slightly. Dude. Or if I don't touch them at all. Really? Don't you dare. Okay. Four of Cups. Huh. Someone just mulling over past events. Reflecting. I mean, there are, like, cups coming down from the heavens. But this person doesn't see them in the reflection. So, they aren't really noticing them. This could also hint at opportunities coming, but might be missed and you're looking at that now. Just trying to think of ways of how it could have gone while these cups are coming down being like, Hey, genius, there's still another chance. Why don't you open your freaking eyes? Or, better yet, pretend you're not a dog and look up. That's an old fucking joke. Don't mind that. Anyway. 
situation is manifestation with the star man coming into be to hold to be able to manifest to create a lot of vibes with this dude i gotta say like he's very electrified by his capabilities he feels like he's very much in tune with everything he's synced with what is above him as is below him and his energy above transmutes what is below Nine of Swords reversed. This is like the creator card, right? This star man. So it's like, did some, is someone the creator of some bullshit and they're running away from that? They created something and now they're running away? Something was manifested and now someone is taking flight away from this. It could be you, Libra. It could also be Gemini. Or Aquarius, once again, but it's like someone is like acting like a spy, and now somebody else is like, and it could be the same person, right? And but somebody is definitely like fleeing from this, and it's making them like this. And now we got the Five of Swords, where this dude is just this dude just is pretty much murdering somebody. He's stabbing five swords into him. This is like the heart of betrayal. Like just taking the knives and not just plunging them once to just get away with it, but just several times to send the message. I feel like somebody wants to heal from that. But that's also air too. Like this is all like air. <laughs> like this is a lot of air and stuff. I don't, I don't, there's a lot of air signs doing some shit, because I could be an Aquarius easily. This is like somebody wants to heal from, like, this betrayal, and it's, like... Who betrayed who in this? Because I'm not sure who it is, Libra. It's kind of freaking me out, because it's weird. Because it's just like, well, why don't you just tell me cards? Instead of just beating around the bush. But these are still new. So it's like, you know. But, yeah, someone wants the infamous, but there's a Prince of Cups here. Like an apology. Like a teenage apology. Like, here, take my cup. I'm going to be as dramatic as I can be, right? With this love offering. From someone who's supposed to be a king of cups. Both could be... Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. What's going against you? Someone... What? Hmm. Libra. Okay. Someone wants to heal from this betrayal? But this offer from this Prince of Cups is coming from the King of Cups. Like, 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 no one, I, I don't, I, I'm not getting this vibe of cheating or anything, but it's like. Like, is someone... being dramatic and immature in their apology, trying to convince somebody else that they're actually a king of cups. They're just excited right now. They're just desperate. They want you back. That's all that matters, right? God damn, I'm hungry. Ah, right? At least that's like that's what I'm trying to figure out right now because it's like whatever someone manifested right over here, they're trying to get away from it. Now someone's mulling over some like disagreements over a betrayal all the way up here that they need to heal from, but it's like who 
it's the traitor and who is the victim, I'm wondering. Because this is like, like, yours has been really confusing, Libra. Like, there's something here that I'm not getting. And this one's just confusing because it's like, he's trying to promote himself as a, something he's not with this cup. And it's like, you see through it. You definitely see it through it that he's actually childish behind that kingly background that he's way more immature than what he portrays himself to be. Right? This Eight of Cups, leaving something behind. You're afraid you're going to have to leave something behind because of the truth. Or a perception of the truth. Or maybe a new mindset might even reject the idea in order to avoid having to leave. Someone dealing with a narc? Like a narcissist or some shit? Did I say that about you guys last time? I can't remember. But this is like really fucking weird. It's like someone is definitely rejecting this idea of portraying who they really... Like... Someone's gotten betrayed, yeah, and I think it's just the person I'm reading for, whoever it is, Libra, right? But, 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 um, the person who's trying to come back to the one that's healing is presenting themselves as something they aren't. They're a lot more immature than what you're giving them credit for right now, okay? They're very emotional. Pos like, they seem stable enough. Because at least both cards are upright. It seems like they're pretty sincere with their love. But they have a hard time projecting who they really are to the world. Because they're projecting this. But they're actually just this dramatic-ass little boy. Who is very passionate, sure. But there needs to be a control. Which he lacks. Right? And then with this Ten of Pentacles, right? Where someone is like financially... Almost looks like a clown. <laughs> but I know it's not. Like, I don't know what the fuck that is, actually. What is this? What is this? I, I It looks like it could either be a bottle of perfume or someone's heart decorated. I, I don't know. It's like... I don't know what the fuck this is. But it obviously speaks of family down here, people in the background being taken up almost to a rapturous place with all these pinnacles in the air. Like there's a lot of synchronicity or whatever the fuck it's called. There is a lot of energy that is binding together. Like all nine come into a circle in order for the tenth one to be used as a seat. Or the tenth one's just extra, you know? It's like completion of what you want. Oh, someone's hiding that away. That's the catalyst in the finale, right? What? Why is somebody hiding that they're financially stable? I don't understand. Wait, I'm missing something here. I have to be because, like, I don't... Is it the stability itself or the financial gain? The wealth. The unit of family that someone is trying to get away from. Being with them sneaky selves. Where the fuck? There was, was seven somewhere else. I thought it had the seven. But I think I'm wrong. That I, I got excited for nothing. Either way, like... I feel like someone's trying to get away from that. Sneak away from this prosperity, this happiness, this completion. Or they're trying to hide what they did to get that. One of the two. Mm, yeah. They might be trying to leave because they're afraid of the truth. And that's why they're walking away with the Eight of Cups up here. And then I'm looking at it. Jesus fucking Christ, Lever, what have you gotten yourselves into? Like, woo. 
That is some harsh ass, like, this is like, not what I would have expected from you guys. Not that I'm judging, it's just, usually you guys aren't that dramatic with shit. You're usually pretty chill. But this seems like it's a lot of heartache. Oh, yeah, and like, it's like someone's not willing to change. Death card, Scorpio. Like, this Scorpio is keeping this air sign, um, paranoid and fucked up in the head. That's really fucked, man. Yeah, someone isn't willing to change. There is not going to be a release of the old. Um, things are not going to become what they are meant to supposed to be. Things are still stalled out. And now someone's staying paranoid about that. Like, someone isn't letting shit go. Someone isn't letting shit go. Because this is the death card. Right? This is about ending, so new beginnings can start. Someone isn't letting something go, and it's keeping them in a really bad vibe about it. It's it's actually making them very, very um, paranoid, very hostile, not wanting to communicate openly, not wanting to um, communicate the truth, I think. And that's why they feel like they need to leave that behind. Like, they can have whatever they want over here, but they'd rather just sneak off and feel miserable than... I feel like accept the truth. Whoever this is, Libra, if this is you, like, I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. If this is someone you're dealing with, and they're treating you like... You should just immediately accept them back because they're giving an apology, as childish as it is. I think it'd be better if you just left that shit alone and fix yourself. Like, this is what you want to do anyway after this betrayal. Like, what? Like you can't expect to live your entire life in regret. Because if you do that, you're just screwing yourself out of the times you'll be able to redeem yourself from those regrets. You know, that's the whole point of having regrets. It's a reminder of our guilt. guilt. Some things can't be forgiven, but, like, they can't be forgiven either if you don't try. That's the important thing. That's what brings true forgiveness, if you actually mean it. And it but, I, but I feel like you need to start with forgiving yourself with the star card. Whoever this is, you or otherwise. Like, because if someone needs healing from a backstabbing situation that looked that painful, like, no, you take care of yourself. Fuck love. It's just a reason to, like, have sex, really. Sex is overrated. Um, yeah, you feel like you didn't win anything with the Six of Wands. We got, um, Five of Wands with the Four of Cups reflecting on these arguments, I think. They were all for, like, show or power or just passionate arguments. And someone running away for whatever it is they created. Um, yeah, they feel like they definitely lost something in this. They feel like they were not victorious, that everybody walked away from them, maybe. There was nothing there for them to be a winner of, almost. Yeah. Six of Cups reversed, and now there's just a lot of sour emotions about the past, and just wanting to ignore what happened and just move on with the Six of Cups. You know, I don't blame you there. Like, that's a lot of... I mean, like, that's a lot to ask yourself to be dedicated to, man. You know? And here we have, like, Aries reversed. Or the... Aries The Emperor reversed. Could be an... Aries, or just that energy. Someone wanting to dominate, but couldn't, or did so, and lost control. They became a totalitarian, or they had no control at all. I feel like there was more of a loss of control. Like, this couldn't be contained anymore. And now someone wants to get away from this scenario where there's supposed to be some sort of happiness, and they're having regrets about it as they walk away, because, like, the truth's there. And in truth, there was no control over any of this at all, I feel like. Like, nothing could have changed this scenario. Nothing could have changed this one. And definitely nothing would have, like, changed this perspective. Like, someone still lost out, regardless of whether they won an argument or not, you know. Someone still has to move on, with or without sour memories. And someone still wasn't able to control the situation, so none of this worked out for anybody. So it's like, don't fight shit, just accept shit and understand shit. Like, that's all there is to it. That's your reading, Libra, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.